Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so I asked for colour palette ideas and I've gone with reds. This isn't going to be the last one. I've actually made a few more over the Christmas period, but I thought I'd go with red for a contrast to go with the other three. So I will list all the colours down below. I'm still using a 16 by 14 inch canvas and I've got a lovely red by Pebeo and a raspberry red by Arteza to go with the gold and the lamp black by Amsterdam. So I'm going to puddle the red first of all on the canvas and I don't know whether I want too much of this colour because I don't want it to kind of really overtake the other colours. But let's see how we get on. I'm going to use three of these puddles first and then I will take each of the other colours in turn, puddle those and then see if I want to add any more. The black that I'm using is Lamp Black by Amsterdam and I love this kind of black. This is a kind of a, a black, of, it's my go-to black shall we say and I think this will really contrast well with that red. And of course I can't not use the Iridescent Gold by Pebeo. This is a rich gold, I love this gold colour and as we've seen with the other ones it works really well with those colours and I think it's going to be just as good with the red. So this is the raspberry colour with, um, I think it's raspberry red by Arteza. I will list all the description and the contents of the paints below. But yeah, I think that's going to be a good contrast with that red because it's a little bit richer. And what I might do is, yeah, I think I'm going to take the black back and I'm going to just add a little bit more of the black within the, the gold puddles. I'm going to double decker them. So I'm going to add little dollops of black paint within each of the gold puddles. And then what I might also do is I'm going to take that red by Pebeo and I'm going to use that red and I will double decker the puddles on top of the raspberry red by Arteza. So let's see how that works when I go to use my marble and stretch out the design. Okay, so the swipe colour is good old traditional titanium white by Amsterdam mixed with Australian Floetrol. Ratio is one part paint to three parts Australian Floetrol. And as I've said in previous videos, in case you haven't already seen those, when you go to swipe, just place your palette on top of the surface of the paint. Don't press down too hard and just let it glide across the paint. Yep, so two swipes. I think I'm gonna do one more swipe just in the other area. Again, I'm not gonna to apply too much pressure when I press down on the paint and I'm just gonna let it glide across. Just want to show you some of that detail before we move on and look at that lacing wow i love it so i'm gonna get the marble i'm gonna stretch the design out but first of all let's put the marble down and create some lines and some patterns using that marble and i'm just gonna take my time i don't need to rush this i'm just gonna take the time and move the marble around the surface of the canvas by tilting the canvas itself. And the paint and the thickness of the paint will help the marble kind of slow down as I tilt. For those of you that have followed me for a while, you may have realized that I've released my very own online course. 
And the course itself is about using art and creativity for mindfulness practice. And what that means is it's using creative exercises that are guided and non-guided that help you to relax and unwind your mind. It's great for mental health. I've used it myself and it just helps me realise and be in the present moment of now, the here and now. So if that's something that you're interested in, check out the details below. And there's also a discount code until the end of December 2022. So check the website out and I'll list all the details below in the comments for you to check out the course. So I'm just adding some more paint around the edges because I didn't have enough on the surface of my canvas and I'm doing that so I don't distort the overall design. That paint, when I put it on the edges, will help with the flow of that paint. It will help move that paint rather than the paint that I've already got on the canvas kind of roll on top of itself and over and over again. So I'm just going to do that. I did spot a blob of paint, so I'm just gonna get that out first. And you'll see what I do is I step back, I have a look at the overall composition, and I just take one edge at a time. I really don't have to rush this process because I'm looking at the overall pattern, I'm looking at the overall design. When I do that, I look at the lacing and I look at the lines that the marble has created. And I decide how much I want to push off the edge and what I want to really kind of remain as a focal point in the centre of the canvas. And that's what I mean about the composition and the overall design. It's almost assessing it as you go. Don't be afraid to kind of put the canvas down and stop and reflect and look back and see what you've already done. And then almost in your mind, think about the edge that you want to take off next. I'm so happy with this. I love the lines and the lacing and the blocks of colour. I'm really loving the balance of this piece. And for those of you that suggested that I should use red, thank you so much. I think this is going to work really well with the three that I've already done. And guys, I haven't taken for granted what you've suggested as alternative colour palettes. I've written a very long list of all of your suggestions, so I will use those over the coming weeks and maybe months for designs like this and also other pieces that I want to explore. So thank you very, very much for all of your suggestions. They have been really helpful and have given me so many ideas. I'm so happy with this piece and I really want to take you in now for a close up so you can see the detail that I can see. Oh, I, lo I love it. I don't normally work with red. Why don't I work with red more often? This is such a good balance and this piece just really speaks to me and actually it's quite Christmassy as well, isn't it? So I'm really happy that I've decided to go with the red colour palette with the gold and the black. I just love that detail there and that lacing. I hope that kind of stays and almost remains when it dries. I will obviously let this dry and I will take you in for a dry version look. But let me just leave you with some of these details. And let me also take this opportunity to thank you all for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so who's ready for the dry version look? Me! Okay, here we go guys. The dry version, it dried beautifully. It's not varnished yet. I always coat my pieces with a spray varnish by Winsor & Newton and I use the high gloss varnish. 
But yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I love that balance of lacing, lines and block colour. And the red has worked really, really well. So great suggestions. Thank you. Watch out for the next kind of piece that I do like this. It's a colour palette that I've never used before. And well, let me just say, if you think this is one of your favourites or the gold one was a real good favourite of yours, the new ones that I do, well, let's just hope that you like those just as much. I'm confident that you will. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you so much for all of your support and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.